Welcome to the video tutorial for a new pattern I created called the snow cap. It fits snugly and it looks awesome. This cap works great using one color or two with or without a pom-pom. We're going to use pretty basic crochet stitches and today I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook but I'm a tight crocheter so I strongly suggest you use the hook size recommended on the yarn that you'll be using today. So let's begin. We're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. Then we're simply going to chain five, two, three, four, and five. So we have five chains on our hook. We'll go into that first chain, grab our yarn, pull it through with a slip stitch. And that's what we're going to start working our first row in. So for row one, in every row, we're going to start with a chain one or a chain two. And that's absolutely a choice that you can make. We're going to be working ten double crochets into this loop right here. So we're just going to put our hook through that loop and work a double crochet. And we're going to be doing this ten times to create row one. Now, if you prefer using a magic circle, you can do that and then pick us back up for row two, but I just like to go ahead and do the chain. Um, in this pattern, the chain one or chain two will not count as your first stitch, um, and you will see in some of my um, instructional cards and in just some of my actual um, crocheting for you, sometimes I'll do two chains and sometimes I'll do one. Um, it really makes no difference whatsoever because, again, we're not counting those first chains as a stitch. Um, I won't be showing you every stitch of every row. It makes for a very long video, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you on this first row. Now, I'm going to be using two colors in this hat today. Um, like one of the pictures that you were shown at the beginning. Um, if you prefer to use one, that's absolutely fine, but I will be using two. Okay, so we're working our ten double crochets into the loop we created. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's our ten, and uh, we always start with the chain, and we always end with a slip stitch to join. So let's go ahead and slip stitch to join. And there's our first 10 stitches. Great. See you for the next row. So for row two, in each row, we'll start with our chain one or two. I'm using two just because it's a double crochet row. And in this row, we're going to place two double crochets in each stitch around. So there's the first. We go right back into that same spot and put a second double crochet. So we have two double crochets in that first stitch. All right, I'll show you one more time. We're in the second stitch. We place one double crochet, go right back into that same location, and put a second double crochet. So we'll be doing this in each stitch around. There's two there, there's two there, and each stitch around will have two double crochets. So I'll pick you back up down here to see how it looks. So I'm at the end of row two where we've placed two double crochets in each stitch. I'm on my last stitch, so this is 19. And then the final one is 20. So you should have 20 stitches in this row. And there it is. We'll end with our slip stitch to join. And we'll move on to row 3. So for row 3, this will be our first increase row. We'll start with our chain 1 or 2. And on this row, we'll place one double crochet in the first stitch, and then we'll place two double crochets in the second stitch. So we had one in the first, 
Here's our first one in the second stitch, and then we place another double crochet in that second stitch. So you'll have one double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochets in the second stitch. And we'll work this all the way around. So there's one in the next stitch, and then two in the following stitch. There's one, oops, and two. At the end of this row, we'll have 30 stitches. Oop, there's something on my yarn. So you'll have one double crochet, two, one double crochet, two, all the way around, one and two, one and two. And I'll pick you up down here, see how it looks. So here we are at the end of row three. Well, we've placed one double crochet in one stitch, two in the next. I'm on my last couple of stitches. That was 28, and then 29 and 30 are in this final stitch. So here's 30. Okay, we'll slip stitch to join right there. And that's the end of row three. So row four, we're going to continue our increase, and we'll start with our chain. I'm doing two. <clears throat> and in this row, we'll do one double crochet in the first two stitches. So there's one. We'll place one double crochet in the second stitch. And then in the third stitch, we'll do two double crochets. So there's one and two. So one double crochet in the first two stitches, two double crochets in the next. We'll do that all the way around. And when I say it's an increased row, I'm simply talking about this is the crown of the hat. So each of the first several rows, we're increasing our number of stitches. And when we get to the body of the hat, the stitch count will stay the same. So this is an increased row. So one double crochet in the first two stitches, two double crochets in the next stitch. So there's one and two. So one, one, two. One, one, two. And we'll work this all the way around. You should have 40 stitches when you get to the end of this row. And I'll meet you down here to continue. Okay, we're at the end of round four, and I'm near the end. This is 37, 38, and then my last stitch will have two double crochets, so that'll be 39 and 40. So 39 and 40. Okay. Let's don't forget to slip stitch to join at the end of this row, like that, and there's row four. So we're continuing our increase with row five. We'll do our chain to begin, and for row five, we place one double crochet in the first three stitches, and then two double crochets in that next stitch. So you see kind of how this increase works. You're just building a few extra stitches, 10 extra stitches actually in each row till you get to the body of the hat. So one double crochet in the first three stitches and then, where's my stitch? Here it is. Two double crochets in that fourth stitch. And we'll have 50 stitches at the end of this row. So there's two double crochets in that fourth stitch. So we have one, 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 and then two. And you'll do this all the way around. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. All the way around. And I'll join you near the end. Well, 
We're at the end of row five where we've been placing one double crochet in three stitches and then two double crochets in that fourth. So let's see where I'm at here. I should be on 47, I think. Oops. Yeah, 48. And then the last two will be 49 and 50. So there's 49, and there's 50. Okay, we'll slip stitch to join, and we just have one more row of increase before we start the body of our hat. So we'll slip stitch to join, and get ready for row six. So this is the beginning of row six. We'll start, of course, with our chain. And this is our final increase row. So we'll do one double crochet in the first four stitches and then two double crochets in the fifth stitch. Now, if you decide that you would like a larger hat, you can do one more row of increase. We'll have 60 stitches at the end of this row. Um, and if you think you need a little larger hat, you can do one more row of increase to have 70 stitches. But we're just doing up to 60. So on this row, we place one double crochet in the first four, and then two double crochets in that fifth stitch for a total of 60. So we have, let's see, one, 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 and then two. So we'll follow that uh, repetition all the way around. One, 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 two. One, 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 two, all the way around for 60 stitches, and I'll join you at the end. Here's the end of row six. Hooray, we're finished with our increase, and this is my final repeat of um, the way we've been doing this row. So my final five stitches are one double crochet in the last four, and then two double crochets in that last stitch for a total of 60. Now if you get to the end of this row and you have like 59 or even 58, no stress, no problem, it's not going to make any difference at all in your hat. Um, in this type of pattern, just being off one or two on your stitch count is no reason to get stressed out at all. We'll just keep going. So here's my final stitch. I do believe I had 60. We'll slip stitch to join. And that is the final row of our increase. Got a nice big circle going. Looks good. So for row seven, we actually get to use a new stitch. We'll do our chain. And in this row, every stitch will simply have a half double crochet in each stitch around. Very easy. So no more increases. Every row from here on out will have 60 stitches. So one half double crochet each stitch around. Easy, easy. And I'll pick you up at the end. So here's the end of row seven, where we've put a half double crochet in each stitch around. Again, we're finished with our increases, so this is number 60. And we will slip stitch to join. If I can get it in there. Slip stitch to join, and that's the end of row seven. Now since we are finished with our increases, I wanted to go ahead and measure this. Uh, mine's coming out to be right around six inches. So again, if you prefer it larger, do one more row of increase. For rows eight and nine, of course we'll start with our chain. For rows eight and nine, we're gonna be working half double crochet in the third loop. Now, most of y'all already know this stitch, but there's that third loop. If you pull the little V towards you, you can see it. Now, I always start my first stitch in the back loop just because I can't find the third loop. But here is that third loop right
right behind the V. You just put your hook in it, grab your yarn, pull it through, finish off your half double crochet. So there's the V, there's the third loop. Stick your yarn in, pull it through, there's your half double crochet third loop. And I really love this stitch. If you've seen my other videos, you know I use it in every video. But we're going to use this for two rows and all the way around two rows and I'll pick you up at the end of row nine. Okay, we're at the end of row nine and we've had two rows of um, half double crochet in the third loop. And you can already see that nice ridge. Um, it just adds such a nice pop of texture, I think, to any hat that you're doing. Now, if you're following along with my color change, we're going to be color changing here. There's that nice texture. I think it looks really, really good. Um, yeah, if you're doing one color, go ahead and slip stitch to join. If you're following my color change, we're going to change to our color number two now. So for row 10, I've changed to my second color, which is a white. We'll do our chain to begin. Then on this row, in the next several, we're going to be working front and back post double crochets. So here's the post. We've been working just in the stitch, but this is the post. So we'll start with a front post where you just go underneath that post, pull your yarn through, and finish off your double crochet. That's a front post double crochet. The next stitch is a back post where you go in from the back of your work around that post, grab your yarn, pull it through, and finish working your double crochet. We're going to alternate this all the way around. Front post, you just go up under that post from the front, pull it through, double crochet. Next stitch, you start from the back, come in up and around that post, pull your yarn through, and finish off your double crochet. So we're going to be working this all the way around, front post, back post, front post, back post, all the way around, working in these posts, not the stitch. And I'll see you back here at the end. So I'm here at the end of row 10, uh, where we're working front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So these are my last couple of stitches. And my last stitch will be a back post double crochet. You should have had 60 stitches in this row. So there's that. We'll slip stitch to join in the top of that first front post double crochet. And there you go. Looks pretty. For row 11, let's go ahead and chain. We're going to be doing the same thing except kind of in reverse. So we're going to start off with a back post double crochet over that front post from the previous row. And then the next stitch will work a front post double crochet on top of the back post from the previous row. So it's the same stitch in the same way we're just kind of reversing. So if you had um, a front post from the previous row, you'll put a back post double crochet over that. And then if you had a front post, you'll work a back post. If you had a back post, you'll work a front post. So it's the same thing, just in the reverse order. So you'll go back post double crochet, then front post double crochet. And we'll work this all the way around. Again, you'll have 60 stitches at the end of this row. And I'll see you then. Okay, here we are at the end of row 11, where we started with a back post uh, double crochet, and then the next stitch was the front post. So here's my last two stitches, and I'll be ending this row with a front post double crochet. So there's number 60. And then we will slip stitch to join at the top of that first back post double crochet at the beginning of our row. There it is. And I'll see you for row 12. Okay, 
for rows 12 to 16, we're going to repeat the last two rows. So we'll start this row with the front post, half double, uh, front post double crochet. There it is. And then the next stitch will be a back post double crochet. So we're doing the exact same thing that we did in rows 10 and 11 where one row starts with a front post double crochet and the next post, the next row starts with a back post double crochet. Um, so we're going to do this for five more rows. Your last row will end when you be, with a, the beginning of a front post double crochet. That sounds kind of confusing, but uh, each row you're just doing the same thing except opposite of the row before. So we'll do it five times and I'll check in with you near the end of that last one. Okay, I thought I would check in and show you how it's looking. Um, this is the beginning of my row 16. Um, and in this final row of this uh, repeat, starts with the front post double crochet and then the second stitch will be the back post double crochet. So we've just been working the same uh, repeat these last few rows just opposite from one row to the next. Uh, so you'll continue with this last row all the way around just doing the opposite of what you did on the row before and I'll see you at the end. All right, we have reached the end of these rows of front and back post double crochet. Here's my last couple of stitches. So there's a front post and a back post. I hope you've gotten the hang of it by now. We've certainly done enough rows of these, but this is the last stitch of the front and back post double crochets. Okay, at the end of this row, if you're following my color changes, we will be going back to color number one. If you're using one color, go ahead and slip stitch to join, and I'll see you for row 17. Okay, we're on row 17. I've changed back to my color one, and we've made it through our front and back post double crochet rows. So we're going to get a little break. And on this row, row 17, we're simply going, after our chain, we're simply going to work a half double crochet in each stitch around. So, I thought we deserved a little break because if your fingers are like mine, they're about to fall off of your hand after all those rows of front and back post. But it does give it a nice texture. So, row 17, 60 stitches. We're doing a half double crochet in each stitch around. Easy, easy, easy. And I'll pick you back up near the end. Okay, here's the end of row 17. We've been working a half double crochet in each stitch around. So there's 59 and 60. Okay, we'll slip stitch to join because we'll finish out the hat in this same color. So I think it's starting to look really good. I'll see you for row 18. So for rows 18 and 19, we're going to be working the half double crochet in the third loop stitch again. Um, it's just like at the uh, bottom of the crown, we're going to finish off uh, the bottom of our white part, the middle part, with the same half double crochet in the third loop. It gives that beautiful ridge, and I think it really sets off that middle part. It just makes it pop, gives it that good texture that we all love. So for the next two rows, you'll be working the half double crochet in the third loop, each stitch around for the next two rows, and I'll pick you up at the end of row 19. Almost done. Okay, this is the end of row 19. We've had two rows 
of the half double crochet third loop that makes that nice ridge that I just can't get enough of. So let's see, here's 59, I believe, and 60. All right, that's the end of row 19. We'll slip stitch to join, of course. Looking good. And it's easy breezy from here on out. So for the next two rows, rows 20 and 21, we'll start with our chain and we're simply going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. So I guess technically this is our brim. Uh, a hat with this much texture doesn't need much of a fancy brim, so I guess technically we're working on the brim. But for these next two rows, you'll put a single crochet in each stitch around, you should have 60 stitches at the end of each row. We'll do this two rows, and I'll see you back at the end of 21. Okay, I'm at the end of row 21. We've had two rows of a single crochet in each stitch around. Simple, simple. So here's 59, oops, and 60. Okay, we'll slip stitch to join, and we have two rows to go. Looks great. We're on our last two rows, hooray. Start with our chain. And for rows 22 and 23, we're going to end this pattern working a single crochet in that back loop only. So, not under both of the uh, V stitches, but just in that back loop. Stick your hook in, pull it through, do your single crochet. And we're going to do this for two rows, which will end out our brim and end out our pattern. So it gives it a nice little mini ridge, not quite like the uh, other one, but just a small ridge to end it out. So I'll see you back at the end. We are at the end of our hat. And this is the end of row 23 where we're working our single crochet in the back loop only. There's 59. And last stitch of the hat is 60. Finish it off with a slip stitch to join, and we are through. Here's our finished hat. Get my hook out. And there it is. What do you think? I think it looks really, really nice. Now I am going to be putting a pom-pom on mine, so I'll show you how that looks. I think it looks really cute looks just like something you'd wear out in the snow on a cold day, doesn't it? Fits pretty snug, got lots of nice texture. I think it looks great. I hope you've enjoyed making this hat as much as I've enjoyed making it with you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also, drop me a comment at any time and I'll be sure and get back with you. Until then, Happy hooking.